What is going on guys, it's Modern Dwarf here, welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to improve the speed of the remote package installer. So the remote package installer, if you're unfamiliar with it, it allows you to basically install package files remotely from your PC. So you can basically send uh, the package file over your network connection and it will install directly on the PS4. So it skips that tedious step of having to copy the package file to a USB or external hard drive and then install it via the debug settings package installer. So this is something that most people should now be using to install your package files, but a lot of people are not using it still because it's a lot slower, or it seems to be a lot slower than installing via a USB stick. And it doesn't have to be. You can get the speed of the remote package installer to the point where it's a lot faster than installing via a USB stick. So that is the purpose of this video to show you guys how to improve the speeds. So first of all, if I go ahead and run the remote package installer right now, and I'm not gonna be, I've already done a full video on, um, a full tutorial on how to set up the remote package installer. So if you're unfamiliar with how to get this stuff and how to get it all set up, then check that previous uh, tutorial that I made, which I'll link in the description and at the end of the video. So we'll run the remote package installer and then I've got the package sender. Now I'm using my bat scripts and there's a reason for that because there is some issue I'll discuss later on with some of the other ones, um, like the the PHP package sender. So I'll, put, I'll link this in the description though. So, so to set this up, you need to put your PS4 IP address in the PS4 IP text file and your computer's IP address in the server IP text file with colon 8080 after it for the port number. And then we can just drag a package file on to our uh, install package.bat. This package file is Horizon Zero Dawn, which is 40 gigabytes. So a really large package file. So it'll be interesting to see how long this will take. So we're gonna drag this into install package. And there we go, it starts installing. Add it to downloads. So if I press the middle button here, we can hopefully see at some point, there we go. You can see how long this is gonna take and three hours. Yeah, I can see why people on wireless would not use this to install package files, because that's a hell of a lot longer. Installing with, with a USB stick, even a USB 2 USB stick, would take about, I don't know, say half an hour to copy the game over to the USB in the first place, and then another half an hour to install it, so around about an hour to do the whole thing. So, not great, this takes three times longer than that. But not to worry, we can definitely improve this by a huge amount here. So. What I'm going to go ahead and do is just delete this for now. So obviously the ideal way to fix this would be to go to a wired connection. So if you're lucky enough to have your router next to your computer and your PS4 so that you can connect Ethernet cables from your computer to your router and from your console to your router, then that's obviously going to improve the speed dramatically. Now there is another way to do a wired connection even if you don't have your router anywhere near your uh, console or your computer. As long as you have a as long as your console and computer are near each other, then you can get an ethernet cable and plug one end of the ethernet cable into your computer, plug the other end into your PS4, and then we can use internet connection sharing to share the connection from the computer to the PS4. The way we do that is we go down to your uh, wireless icon on your taskbar and you right click and you go to open network and internet settings, and then you go to change adapter options, and then uh, right click on your wireless uh, adapter, go to properties, select sharing, allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. And then if you have a drop down menu, select your ethernet adapter as the adapter that you want to share the connection with. And then that's gonna share the internet connection that the PC is getting uh, down the ethernet cable directly to the console. So that's gonna give you pretty much the best connection possible because you are getting a direct, when you're sending the package file, it's going directly from the computer down an ethernet cable to your PS4. So that will get you the best possible connection. So now if we go and we set this up again, so we'll open this up, we'll go back over here. So on the PS4, you're gonna to have to go over to your network settings and go to and set up an internet connection. Choose LAN cable this time and you can just select easy and wait for this to finish. There we go. 
and then if we view connection status you can see my IPs change to 192.168.137.105 so I'm gonna go ahead and run the remote package installer again in fact let me just close it and reopen it because after you send a package file you're best to close it and reopen it because sometimes it will uh, it won't work if you try and send a second package file if it's if it's still running so close it reopen it before you send another package so yeah and then I'm going to open up my ps4 IP and change this to what it is now which is 137.105 and save it and now I'm going to grab my package file and again install package and boom there we go added to downloads and now let's see how long this is going to take 20 minutes 25 minutes 24 minutes, 23 minutes, 22, oh, okay, no, there we go, 22 minutes. So, a lot faster, considerably faster, pretty much the same amount of time it would take via a USB stick, maybe a bit faster than that actually, so not bad, but this could still be improved. So the reason I told you guys to use this instead of, you know, the PHP one by Scorpion, the page, the PHP package sender, and then there's also the one from Sonic, S-O-N-I-K, I believe, which is an application package sender, um, like a C-sharp tool, I think, that sends the package files. And the reason I said not to use those is because they don't tend to work with connection sharing, or I've, I've had a lot of trouble trying to get them to work with connection sharing, whereas I don't have the same issue when I'm using the bat scripts with the Node.js server. But when I try and use the PHP one or the, um, the package sender tool, uh, it just doesn't work it, with connection sharing. It's always being blocked for some reason. So because of that, I recommend using this. Um, but we can actually improve this even more, believe it or not. So yeah, 18 minutes left. We can actually get this going even faster. So if I go ahead and delete it. So currently, it's go we're, we have the server IP set to uh, the IP address of the computers and that's the wireless uh, IP address so if I go on CMD type in IP config uh, this is where we're hosting the server from the wireless uh, connection but that has to get passed to the Ethernet adapter you know because it's been hosted on the wireless adapter essentially and then it's been sent to the Ethernet adapter which then goes to your PS4 but the server the server isn't just hosted on the wireless adapter, the server is also hosted on the Ethernet adapter as well. As you can see here, you can see the server is available on 192.168.137.1 and 1.64. So it's been hosted on the Ethernet adapter and the wireless adapter. So if we, instead of using this IP address for the wireless uh, adapter, if we use the one for the Ethernet adapter, then it has less hoops to jump through. It goes directly from the Ethernet adapter to the PS4, uh, rather than having to go from the wireless to the Ethernet to the PS4. So that could increase the speed even more. So all we have to do is just change the server IP to 137.1 instead of the, the Wi-Fi IP address. And now we'll do the same thing again. We'll open up or close it first and then reopen the remote package installer and go again, grab our package file, drag it over install package.vat and boom, there we go. So package is now installing. And if we go over to Horizon Zero Dawn, boom, 10 minutes, nine minutes, eight minutes. <laughs> That's a huge improvement. So we've gone from three hours on wireless to what, 20 minutes on, um, connection sharing but using the wireless adapter as the server uh, host and now we're down to basically nine minutes by using the actual ethernet adapter as the host of the server and there we go that's three gigabytes already in like a few seconds so 
yeah, there you go. A huge improvement made to the speed. This is far faster than installing via a USB or external hard drive because with those you have to take into account the time it takes to copy the file to the external hard drive or USB in the first place and then you go from that to um, installing it on the actual console itself which takes a while. Whereas this, seven minutes installed a 40 gigabyte game, that's pretty damn good. I mean, yeah. So yeah, that is one way you can absolutely improve the speed of the remote package installer. Now also, uh, if I just go ahead and delete this again. Now if for whatever reason you, are, you don't wanna use my um, package sender, uh, you'd rather use you know the one by Sonic or the one by Scorpion, uh, the PHP one or the, you know, the C Sharp application, because they don't work well with connection sharing, you could use a network bridge instead. That is another option, but network bridges tend to be inherently buggy compared to connection sharing. But it's another option if you want to try that as well, which will give you the same speed uh, as uh, connection sharing does. So if I right click and go to open networking internet settings again and share adapter options, if I just take off the connection sharing, and then we do a network bridge instead. So for a network bridge, you highlight uh, the Wi-Fi adapter, you highlight the ethernet adapter, and then you right click and bridge the connections. And boom, I've already got an error. So there you go. Like I said, they are very buggy. So it added the Wi-Fi adapter to the network bridge, but it didn't add the ethernet adapter. So I'll just right click on the ethernet adapter and add that to bridge as well. And there we go. So now they're both bridged, Wi-Fi is bridged. Ethernet's bridged and we're connected to the internet. Great. Uh, there can be a lot of issues with network bridges, particularly like it kicking you offline and stuff and you having to reconnect to your Wi Fi it can happen a few times. But there we go. We've got the network bridge set up. So if I go back on here, it'll change your IP address. So if I head to network and view connection status, you can see my IP address is now. It's not a 137 address anymore, it's just 192.168.1.113, just like I was on wireless. So if we hop on the remote package installer again, close it first, rerun it. So my IP address is now 1.113. So 1.113. And then we send our package file again and Houston we have a problem what is it this time maybe I have to put the host back to the wireless one 1.64 and let me just close this and reopen it again okay install package yeah there we go Add it to downloads and our speed is boom basically the same as connection sharing with the ethernet adapter being the host so i've also got an advanced warfare update here as well this is these are retail package files that come in two parts if i wanted to do this with the usb method i'd have to actually merge these two parts into one package file and then put them on a usb and then install them via the debug settings package installer but Thanks to the optimizations we've made and the remote package installer itself, we should be able to get this installed really, really fast just by dragging them over the install patch.bat file. And there's two files with a zero base index. So we put down one as the number of parts, press enter and boom, there we go. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare update added to downloads. And if I select this, okay, it doesn't show. I have to go up to the actual download section itself. And there we go, one gigabyte done already, and it's going to take just over a minute. Well, pr probably less than a minute in total to install a 6.6 .6 gigabyte update for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I mean, it's a third of the way done already, it's almost halfway done. So there, there you go guys, as you can see, a vast improvement in the speed of the remote package installer, and it just makes installing, you know, game updates, full games, any package file essentially, it just makes it so much faster and so much easier to install uh, now that we have improved the speed of the remote package installer. So there you go, less than 30 seconds now. So 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. And I will hopefully see you guys in the next one.